be ready 5 seconds start sir now some honorable members have expressed the fear that the management may misuse this power i have already made it clear that the present provision is already there in the act and this is an improvement that we say that instead to forfeit wholly he can have the opportunity or the power to forfeit it partially regarding this question of the misuse of his power supposing an employer misuses this power and he indiscriminately forfeits the gratuity the employee has got the right to raise the dispute he can dispute it contest it if the conciliation falls he can go to the tribunal or to the labor court the labor courts are presided over by judicial officers whatever the labor court decides is bringing on both the employees and the employers therefore it is not correct to say that this power of partial forfeiture will be misused i do not think this is going to be misused by the employer i feel that there are sufficient opportunities which are open to the employee to challenge such a misuse exercised by the management so it is definitely an improvement on the existing provision of the act some honorable members expressed the opinion that sufficient time is taken in making the payment of gratuity it is not being paid promptly i want to make it clear that the rules relating to the payment of gratuity already provided that an employee shall apply for payment of gratuity within 30 days from the date of gratuity becomes payable and the employer has to make the payment within 30 days from the date of the received of the application for payment of gratuity so the time limit is already prescribed and he has to pay the amount as per time limit fixed in the rules some honorable members wanted to know why this limit of 10 workers was prescribed it is because the payment of gratuity act says that this is applicable only to the establishment in section 2 it is said to what category of industries and establishments it is applicable so in the act it has been made clear that such other establishments or class of establishments in which 10 or more employees are employed or were employed on any day of the proceeding two months by notification specially in this behalf we have got the powers the government has got the power it is applicable only to the establishment where the workers are 10 or more now the question is why it should not be made applicable to all the 
establishments irrespective of the member of workers the question is whether an employer having 2 3 4 or 5 workers has got that capacity he has not got that capacity at all when he has not got the capacity he has not got the capacity what is the use of having legislation and thrusting that legislation on him therefore what we felt was that so far as this legislation is concerned it should be made applicable only to bigger establishments which can employ at least 10 or more workers then i want to tell the honorable members that government has got the powers to extend this act to other establishments also accordingly the central government has specified motor transport undertakings clubs chambers of commerce and industry association federations inland water transport establishment and such local bodies in which 10 or more persons are employed wherever the government feels that it should be extended to other establishments it has already extended and if there are any good cases for extension of this government is prepared to consider those cases and bring them under that category and extend the application of payment of gratuity act to close establishments also now we have come to the conclusion that it is necessary to amend the definition of continuous service under the industrial disputes act also it is similar however it has become necessary to amend the definition of continuous service in the payment of gratuity act because of the judgment of the supreme court it is possible that we may have to carry out similar amendments in the industrial disputes act in due course why we have brought this measure you will agree is that because the supreme court had said in its judgment that unless he has put in 240 days of continuous service he will not be considered to be in service and will not be entitled to gratuity what we have said is for the definition of continuous service he will be considered to be in continuous service even if he is on unauthorized leave unless he has been punished by the management and for punishing the worker the management has to punish under the standing orders they cannot punish him off hand according to their whims if he has to punish him certain procedure is there which has to be gone through after completing the procedure only he can punish him if the employer is misusing the powers then the employee can raise the industrial disputes act 